I'm Mary Parkinson and I'm still in the North East and today I'm with a mix of Sunderland, Middlesbrough and Newcastle fans. Sir so John Hall's dream was to make Newcastle like a, a sports centre, wasn't it? I mean, it is his dream, he's resigned. Yeah, I mean, not a, a, a sporting <laughs> empire, really. Rugby, basketball. Side. Is that going to happen? <laughs> well, they may do, but as long as he doesn't spend my football season ticket money on rugby and basketball, I'm very happy. I mean, I'm a football fan. Is there room in this it. area for... I don't care. All Newcastle fans want is it, is it football team that's going to win things and be successful as we are now. And well, I've about rugby, yeah, cricket, and anything like that. I was just about to mention him. Oh, like yeah, John Hall's done well. He's got rid of all the British lads. He brought in a load of foreigners. Same thing he's doing, starting to do with ice hockey team. The team at the moment, we've got Steve Watson, Darren Peacock, Warren Borden, uh, I'll 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 I mean, chairman was Bob Murray, wouldn't I? Come on! <laughs> Christ! I, I mean, the thing is, over the last five years, Newcastle have left Sunderland and Millsburg way behind in every level of football, and that's all that matters. Yeah. And, and, What's your response to that? Well, no, but they've, wait, they've won nothing and spent 60 and, million pounds. You've won nothing. What have you got to show for it? Absolutely oh, nothing. Same, yeah, same as you. Same as you. Same as you. Yeah, but we are in the Premiership. Pounds. And they've won nothing, neither. They just getting started, haven't they? I mean, basically, the money's only been there last year or so. If people, well, can I can I finish or not? Yes, you can. Right, I can finish. Right, Bob Murray made money available for Peter Reid, and he didn't spend it last season. You think it's funny? I think it's a I, I think, I, no, to be fair, you bought Lee Clark and Niall Quinn. You know what's funny? You know what's funny? Sunderland's record signing, right, is that player that couldn't get Newcastle's first team. Two and a half million, that's Sunderland's record signing for Lee Clark. Who got called you know, up for England? Peter Reid had money, right? It's Peter Reid's fault. It's not Bob Murray, and you're slagging off Bob Murray. Peter Reid's had money to spend on players, right? And he hasn't spent it. Sunderland's... Why? Why? Well, I don't understand, but at the end of last season, if they'd stayed up, right, which they almost did, but if they had stayed up, Peter Reid would have been a hero, Sunderland would have had a greater pull and power to bring in the players, right, and they'd have spent that money, and this season would have had a better year. As it, as it is, he was unlucky, we went down, and now he's having to start again. But it doesn't mean that we're starting from scratch, we're still, we're still better than we were before Peter Reid came. The money's still there, and he's going to spend it on the players, and we're going to be good. self-delusion. If my auntie had balls, she should be me uncle. Alan Sugar, much revived by the Tottenham fans, managed to finally convince himself after he's over my dead body speech that Les Ferdinand was worth six million. Peter Reid should have yeah, I mean, Peter Reed should have paid over the odds to keep Sunderland up last year, and he didn't. Well, he should have done. I agree with you. But that you slagging off our chairman? No, you slagged off John Hall. I never responded. I never mentioned John Hall. I responded. The I question was about John Hall. Do you rate Bob Murray as a chairman? I think he's done it. Do you, you rate Gibson as a chairman? Absolutely. Yeah. He's the one putting the money up. He's, 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 he's not in Middlesbrough Football he's, Club. He's the one who's what it is now. The who can't do the job. But I mean, let's face it, the whole of the... See, see, Frank, Frank Robson's a famous footballer, great footballer. What's he done as a manager? A shit manager. A shit manager. And you've got to acknowledge that. And he, and he, and he, and he has, I think Brian Robson will have learned more from his experiences of last season than you could pay him to have learned for 10 years of success. And I, 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 I think the failure, he will learn so much from I, that. I think rather than slug each other off, I think one thing's got to be said about Steve Gibson is of the three chairmen in the North East football, at least he's got football in his blood. Yeah. Murray and Hall have yeah. yeah. I mean, so John Hall is at first and foremost a businessman. Yeah. He pumped all that money into Newcastle. Uh, no, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He's, he's, left didn't. With a, he's left with a huge stake in Newcastle. In the castle, right? He loaned money to the castle, ah, but which was paid interest. Yeah. Then from the flotation, he made 112 million pounds. I know, I'm saying so. He's first and foremost you know, a business. You know, Why has he quit now? Because he's 65. Do you think it's just as simple as that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Before, he gets, before he gets And how do you feel about the key that was pushed? He didn't jump. Well, well, I think well, Kevin knew. I, I think Kevin you knew Keaton, that anyway. Right? No, I mean, it was fairly obvious, wasn't it? Well, yeah. The PLC. Well, well, do you think he should have written the book to stay all this? Yeah, he yeah. should. Because Kevin Keegan has made quite clear that the club have been thrown on the stock market and a detrimental effect on the football side of things. We were challenged for the league title in Europe and and still the FA Cup. He was told to sell players the value of six million pounds, which is a disgrace. How the hell are we supposed to, how the hell are we supposed to build a club? 
And when he's told to sell six million pounds worth of players. I know you don't have sixty million to spend that now, is it really? You can't get nobody for sixty million. We just correct the fallacy here. Kevin Keegan spent sixty one million and he recouped. Right, Blue Fox, Andy Cohen will have you 21 million. So although the outlay is 40 million, is a fantastic and amount of money. Over the cheaper. five year spell, it represents a relatively modest 8 million pounds a year. Let's not let the sensationalism well, get nice. out of hand. Like Most sports don't spend that sort of money, do they? Well, well, one of the no, no, they certainly don't. Some of them don't. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Nobody and you're shite. Parsimonious Bob. And you've got now, you've got no silverware. You still don't have silverware. None of you have got any silverware. Listen, none of you have got any silverware. All the bloody silverware went to the North yeah, West last we year. We know we're crap. They think they're good, but no. the shite. <laughs> <it's still laughs> oh, oh, we know they are crap as well. <laughs> so they don't they think they're great. The thing is, you look at what Middlesbrough have spent to what Newcastle have spent, where Newcastle are now to where Middlesbrough are. You don't blame the manager and Brian Robson. They're in the same place as you. you know I mean? Exactly, and we've spent, we haven't spent anything though. Yes, and that's your money. fault. You refuse to spend something, Brian you Robson might have spent millions out. and millions of pounds. I think, I think actually, money was was I think yeah. we've done this. Who spent more money and who I stayed up? I think the big crime at Sunderland was they went, down in, they went up in 1990 and they were lucky to capitalise on Swindon's punishment. And they didn't capitalise when they went yeah. up to the first division. Me, was that right? Was that no. the I mean, I mean, that's the best thing that ever happened. Hey, I know that's the best thing that ever happened in Newcastle. It's the best thing that ever happened in Newcastle. Should have been up the off. If, if we win up the off, we got the first division, we'll slip in shade today, just like you are. But we're doing history. Paul came in. History tells you and proves it. You you your chairman, excuse you me. Were, you weren't sitting there at the time when you were running on the pitch trying to stop the uh, game. Yeah. 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 Okay, cut. That's the end of this segment. Hi, I'm Mary Parkinson. I'm still in the northeast with Middlesbrough, Sunderland, and Newcastle fans. Club or country? In Italy, they put their country way before their club. I would be hard pressed if you gave me a toss up between England and the World Cup finals and United, Manchester United that is, Who? in the European what about Cup United? final. <laughs> That's the other girl. Um, I would be hard United? pressed to know which one I would cheer on most. Uh, to, to be which, quite honest, it would be Manchester not, United. Which means you're not a football no, fan. No, no, no. It club, would be Manchester United. Club for me. comes but first every club, time. Your no, club no, comes no, first no, every time. No, you you explain that you'd be hard pressed. So you have the decision But if to make, I had the decision between think, the two on the same day... I'll have a stab at it, and I'll guess that all six only here, yourself excluded, would put their club first without thinking twice. Oh, you want to oh, think yeah. twice. No, I would think more, twice England, if it was England on the playing, same day. England are playing in Italy on Saturday, yeah. but I'm gutted, about the, I, I'm gutted about the fact that we're not playing Forest at home. Yeah, I know, exactly. I'd rather be watching. Yeah, definitely. You know, well, no, I'll tell you something, it has changed, it it has changed yeah. quite yeah. dramatically for me as a United fan, because we have so many United players in the team. And oh, that has really changed. How long have you been a United fan then? No. Two Since years. 77. Oh, well, that goes back a long time, yeah. So well, 20 years. I'm, unfortunately, I'm probably about 20 oh, years right. younger than okay. you, too. You Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get some facts straight here. No, but yeah, I mean, no, no, I mean, I mean, I mean to be honest, between Newcastle and England, I want Newcastle win every time. You, you know, I. I'm not worried about what I am worried about what England do, but not the same extent. But I mean, I mean what is it? Saturday night, England beat Italy. I'd be watching that match, one England to win, obviously, right? Yeah. When, when I England wish score, I was there. When, 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 I when, wish when, I England, was when there. England score, it won't have the same effect as if Newcastle had been playing and Newcastle had scored. No. No, I mean, no, it, obviously, obviously not. But when England play and when Paul Scholes scored that second goal in Le Tournoi, I mean, and then we, we had five, uh, five or six United players on the pitch well, at the end of the game. Tournament. It was well, fantastic. Well, it's more important to try to fight Castle. It's not thinking about your club yeah, there. Absolutely, I'm so thinking about the club. Oh, yes, it's always well, a club well, before. Yeah, but you just said that it was... You. Yeah, but if it was like... Yeah, 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 yeah no, obviously. I mean, World Cup, fair enough. But something like the Tournoi, the Umbrella Cup, that's the Tournoi. Well, you know, you're right. Yeah, but it's not like the Tournoi. 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 It's not like the and I'm sure I'll speak for these other lads here about their key players. The Valenciela injury, which happened to happen in a friendly at Goodison Park, happened when he was playing for England, we would be even more devastated. Yes. Because you're desperately yes. keen for your players to come back from international duty, which makes them successful. But you are appalled if they're injured when playing for England or training for England than what they are when it's just 
part of that job at St James's Park. I, 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 remember, I remember the late 60s, early 70s, my first heel for Newcastle was Win Davies. He used to play for Wales. When Wales played England, I was one of Wales to win. Yeah, win, because because win Davies. I can't believe that that shit like that. That's absolute uh, bullshit. Like. I mean, Annie Melville, I mean, we, we, we're not lucky enough to have England internationals. Just, I was telling the right. team, right. But, can, can I just Lee, say about Lee Clark? England <laughs> comes first. England's the team. You've got to be a patriot, right? Anything that Newcastle achieves, right, is only reflective. If they achieve it in England and the England team is shit, then that doesn't mean a lot. The England team really counts a lot. Really I mean, I think it, I think it has... Did Newcastle win the yes. European Cup and England win the World Cup? I know which one I choose every time. Oh, yes, I, well, I, can't, yeah. believe, I can't believe you're saying that, like. Well, everybody else seems England, to know that Well, I, I'm disagreeing with oh, you. I'm the other one out then. Because England, the England means a lot to me. From the Premiership, or England winning the World Cup. Yeah, I mean, for the impact that it has... I don't believe that. I cannot honestly believe that your national team would mean more than your club. I'll be quite honest. I would rather... It means more to me, right? Sunderland staying up, or England making the World Cup. In Brazil. Right? I'd rather someone stayed up, but as far as us winning anything, I'd rather England made the win World Cup than we won anything. Honestly, yeah, would. I, I, I would rather. I mean, it would, I don't. I don't think. Any, think any, all due respect, I think you're an exception. Well, you are. I guess. Someone told you, right? I'm English. I'm English. If Sunderland are going to win the FA Cup or England to win the World Cup, what would you rather have? Probably Sunderland win the FA Cup. What the hell? No, 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 no. But, but what I'm saying is, England making the World Cup. Right? It's more important than, than me. Well, as long as we're in well, the top division. Well, as long as we're in the top division, that's all that matters to us. I want us to go in the top division. You, but after that, England means a lot to us. England winning the World Cup more realistic, right. yeah. Listen, did any of you bother to go to any of the Euro 96 games? Yeah, yeah. I would have. Did you enjoy them? Yeah, they were I okay. Yeah. They were occasions. Right. They weren't special. Quite, I mean, it's quite the strange to go to a game and not really care. Well, I've got amongst the I've got amongst the Romanian fans and got well, them chanting fine. some England songs <laughs> yeah. just to get them just we to get them up for it. You know, find your yeah, 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 I do. I mean, Wembley, Wembley is going to be closed from when is it next year, isn't it? And they're going to be playing the internationals all around the country. Will you go to an international at St James's? Well, the point. You don't need another nation. Which has their national stadium, one national stadium, yeah. where they play all their games at. Because the Italians will, play, will be playing at Rome. If the games, they, they tried an experiment two or three years ago and had an international Ellen Road and it was full. And perhaps we'd we'll be a South bit more. Africa, Old Trafford yeah, last but, year. Yeah, and, yeah, but they were only two games in, in, a, in a God knows how many years. Yeah. If it was a standard thing to either have a Northern Wembley or to spread the games around St James's Park yeah. and the stadium in shape yeah. and all those places, Italy then their games around the yeah, country. That's perhaps right. we would be a bit more patriotic. Yeah, if we could see our, we, I've got to spend about £150 to take my son to Wembley. I wouldn't even think of doing it. That's half a season ticket. Every other country does it. Spain does it as they well. They all do it. Yeah. They, they all do it. Do any problem? Scotland do it. The only problem you've got is like when the under 21 games, right? When you get like players or, or even the full internationals that might happen, you're getting where there's a bit of rivalry. When Martin Smith plays St James's Park, got a load of booing when he's playing for the under 21s. You know, for, and I'm, I think the same thing might have happened if Newcastle were players were playing. You know, Pro wrongly I would disagree with it, but it happens. Like you know. I was at um, Old Trafford when I mean, you know, Ian Wright was playing, and we just had the, the Schmeichel incident and everything. I mean, Ian Wright is not the most. Yes, we have. Yeah, but if you Man United, Greece. yeah, but if you had a Man City player playing, he's going to get grief, isn't he? No, and um, at um, at City when United went for a friendly before the Italy game, um, the City fans clapped all the United players off the pitch. But it can't I mean, it's that. yeah, it's true. It's <laughs> absolutely true. It's the most extraordinary thing I've ever Actually, seen. Actually, if you get my drift, Manchester City is the biggest supporter club in the country, isn't it? No. <laughs> no, I don't Because it. football fans hate Man United. And on that note... All the Chelsea boys, all the Chelsea boys, Darren and John, want to say hello to you, mate. See you soon when we come down. <laughs> <laughs> on that extremely happy, jolly note, we're going to leave it there. Thanks very much.